Hey everyone, I'm Brian. Now, last week you saw me kind of reply to Jeff's rant on TNA. Well, I'm here to do my own little rant. And my rant is on the state of WWE. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what's the problem with WWE? Well, I'll tell you what the problem with WWE is. You see, WWE has a few problems with it. Now, you might say, well, they got a lot of problems. Well, let me just, I want to state, well, I want to talk about a few of them. See, one of the problems that the WWE has is the lack of a tag team division on Raw, SmackDown, on, on, and ECW. Well, ECW doesn't count, but they have one tag team in there, and that's Miz and Morrison. But they don't have many other tag teams when it comes to Raw and SmackDown. I mean, let's see, let's not, what, on Raw you have, what, Crime Time, um, the tag team champions Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase, along with Manu, but he's obviously can't do any tag teaming uh, championship-wise. Anyway, and that's about it. And then what? On uh, SmackDown, you have what? Jesse and Festus, Hawkins and Ryder, the Colognes, Carlito and Primo. And that's about it. I mean, all together, you have what? Six tag teams in the WWE all together. What they need to do is they need to get some real tag teams in there. They need to get a lot of these developmental guys that team up that are in tag teams in the Florida Championship Wrestling. They need to bring these tag teams up. I mean, SmackDown's obviously got a new tag team team on their show, but it's but they're not eligible to be part of the tag team division, and that's the Bella Twins, Bree and Nicole. Although we haven't really seen, well, we've seen both, but Bree and Nicole. Oh, they have that tag team, but they're not eligible to be contenders for the tag team title. So that's one of the main problems they have. They need to, is the lack of tag team wrestling. They need to bring that back up. I mean, they say that's the emphasis on their new video game, on their new SmackDown Raw game, so, but they need to show it, that in real life. They need to bring that into real life. They need to emphasize that in real life. That's what they need to do. Uh, that's a problem that not only do I have, but fans have as well. Is the fact that WWE, when they say, when it comes to the draft and after the draft, they say it's time for new rivalries, new stuff like that. When they say things like that, they always end up going back to old rivalries. For example, most recently, they started the Big Show Undertaker feud again. I mean, what for? What? So Undertaker can have a... What? So... So the Undertaker can have another hurdle to go over before he gets his hands on Vicky? Big deal! You know, in my opinion, if I was WWE, I would have put the Undertaker against Vladimir instead. That's because he's never faced Vladimir Kolsov. That's new and fresh competition. And that's someone that'd be a lot tougher to go through to get to Vicky than Big Show. I mean, believe me, there's a lot of fans out there that would agree with me right now that that would have been a better choice. But no, instead they want to go with Big Show. You know, and I really don't know why. And then you talk about another rivalry that's been restarted, Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels. I mean, obviously what they're trying to do is top the feud that they had back in 2003 with this feud they're having now in 2008. And obviously adding in more elements that weren't used back then that are being used now. Although this is probably the more better rivalries and feuds being, being restarted than Big Show and Undertaker. What I'm saying is that this, is, this makes more sense at times than just having Big Show coming in and say, hey, I'm just going to be, you know, side by side with, you know, Vicky so she could, you know, get The Undertaker to apologize. Get The Undertaker to apologize? I mean, that, that's what WWE's come up with when it comes to Undertaker and Big Show's feud? Big Show's just by Vicky's side just to have The Undertaker apologize to her? I mean, come on! That is the most ridiculous story or reason for Big Show to be associated with Vicky. Just to have The Undertaker, associ just to have the Undertaker apologize to her? That's now, I'm a fan of both wrestlers, and I'm even a fan of Vicky's heel run as general manager, but that is stupid, in my opinion, to be honest with you. That is downright stupid. And you know, but besides that, another thing I have a problem with is the fact that they push some of the next big stars or big things in their business 
a little too soon. I mean, back when The Undertaker, you know, speaking of The Undertaker, back when he debuted in 1990, they didn't push him within the first three or six months and give him a shot at the WWE title. No, they waited a year to give him a shot and let him run with the title. Even though it was for a few days, they gave him that opportunity. But what they're doing now, and they've been doing this since 2002, is they're taking Brock guys like Vladimir Koslov, and they're using what I like to call the Brock Lesnar formula, and they're pushing him way too soon. I mean, you take a look at Brock Lesnar, and he was, what, in WWE for six months, and he was champ, and all of a sudden he was champion. And then they took someone like Bobby Lashley, who was, what, on SmackDown for maybe a year, I think, or not even a year, or less than a year, and he's already champion. Well, actually, they did wait for Bobby to be champion. They did use the Undertaker formula with Bobby. But they waited, but they didn't make him WWE champion or world champion. They made him ECW champion. So even though still they waited on Bobby to give him that push, all he got was the ECW title. But what I'm saying is that sounds to me what they're doing right now is they're pushing, sounds to me, it looks to me like they're pushing Vladimir a little too soon and pushing him into that main event spotlight. I mean, what they should do is they should wait another couple of months before they probably put the, the championship on Vladimir. But that sounds like what they're doing right now. Because if you watched SmackDown last week, and or if you were in Nashville, Tennessee last night watching the SmackDown taping, then you know what, 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 it, what happened with Vladimir. You know what you know, what's going on there. But, apparent, but to me, I think that's what WWE is doing. One of the problems is they're pushing him too soon. What if he's not ready? I don't know. But what they're doing is they're using the Brock Lesnar formula on him, and they shouldn't be doing that. And that's one of the problems they have to work on there. Another problem that they have, to me, is the lack of hyping up pay-per-views. I mean, you take a look at all the pay-per-views, and the pay-per-views take, what, place within, what, three weeks of each other, two to three weeks within each other? They don't even have time to hype up the matches, or hype up the feuds, or the reason the matches are taking place anymore. They need to go back into doing that. They need to at least wait maybe five weeks, four weeks, five weeks into the pay-per-view so that the match and the reason for the matchup taking place can be hyped up to the point that fans will say, I want to see it. To the point that fans might say, okay, I might consider seeing it. I might consider buying the pay-per-view just to see that match. That's one of the things they need to work on. That's one of the other main problems that they need to work on is hyping up. They need to take the time on that. They need to really work on that, but they don't. They need to do that. But, uh, you know, and one last thing I want to talk about, you know, some fans... You know, they say they like Vicky Guerrero's role as a huge general manager. But, you know, and I like it too, but I think what WWE needs to do with Vicky, and this is something they should have done, you know, long time, and this is something they should have done, you know, with Ed. You know, they should have done this at SummerSlam or something like that. They need to get rid of Vicky, get her off television for a while, have her come back and be like Mike Adam Lee and Teddy Long, a neutral general manager, someone that doesn't take sides with anybody. That's what she needs to do. I mean, that's what they need to do with her. They need to take her off. And I think that's why they got Undertaker facing Big Show instead of someone like, say, Vladimir, because they want him to go over that last big hurdle before he does take her off television by pu either putting her in the coffin and setting it on fire or something like that. But they need to take her off for a while because, <laughs> believe it or not, you may like her, person her heel persona on television, but there's a lot of fans that just want her gone for right now. They need a break from her. And I think that's what WWE needs to do. They need to give fans a break from Vicky and then bring her back fresh and neutral. That's what they need to do. But uh, that's all I can say on my rant on the certain problems that WWE has. And let's just hope they can improve it. So until next time, I'm Brian. Peace out and God bless.